Hello. For those interested in watching, I'm going to give you a little bit of insight here of what uh, happened along this uh, particular uh, video we're going to look at. Here I'm just flying around enjoying myself and up in the air I spotted the uh, garbage truck of course um, going in and out of the streets and I thought well this might be a pretty good time to test my skills on uh, flying around and going in and out of uh, different uh, areas to to see how good I could uh, get around this garbage truck and and still get good footage uh, as you can see here that's a beautiful day there was no problems uh, nice bright sunny beautiful picture and so what was going on uh, I didn't have an, uh, any thought yet as as to what I was going to do as I was just flying around enjoying myself and I spotted the the garbage truck uh, and he was rounding the corner down here um, and I thought well you know what I'm I'm gonna get down and see how close I can get to him so that's just what I what I started to do uh, as I uh, approached him you can see I was still fairly high here above the trees and I'm swooping down getting fairly lower and lower um, to where I got down within about 15, 15 feet of the uh, of the cab of the truck, and I wanted to to get in front of the driver and get a, a fairly close up of him inside the truck driving. And uh, from what I believe and what I remember, I left the uh, two times uh, telescope on, so I was viewing it two times. So which put me at a closer range than what I actually was. Um, so it made it look like I was a lot closer and and forgetting to turn it back to one times, I just thought I was safe. So what I did was I was trying to get around to him on the right and as he passed me so that I could get around to him and on the side and it didn't work out. Uh, as you can see here, I'm swooping around uh, to his right and the truck is passing us by. And I was kind of wondering at the time, I wonder how far away I am from the trees if I go out too far and too wide. But I thought, well, I'm, I'm close enough to where I'm still on the road, I should be fine. And I'm up about 15 feet and but it turns out where that was not the case because as I got closer here, you can see the tree. I've got the pointer on the tree there. I'm going to swing around now and try to get him. And what happens is I damn kiss this tree. There it is right there. And I just thought I had plenty of room, but I guess it didn't. And it stayed in this tree for a few minutes, flickering like this. And it, uh, uh, I don't know if it was me messing with the controls back and forth with the propellers. And it finally it knocked out of the tree and, and, and uh, fell down to the ground and I ended up finding it. And it did some damage. I had to send it into DJI and it cost me a pretty penny to get it fixed. I'll include some pictures of that as well, but it cost me about 200 bucks because it destroyed the uh, the uh, the arms on the uh, the camera or broke them, and it also um, messed up the uh, the frame a little bit, but not bad. But I can't believe it was 200 dollars, and uh, we got it back now, and it's working great. So this is what you don't want to do on your your next flight is you want to be pay attention to what to what's going around you and and prevent these uh, mistakes. Thank you.